छूटे देहात्यास on renouncing the false identification meaning identifying the body as i if the false identification ceases stops given up then you no longer remain the doer of karmas because you don't harbor any impure feelings you don't you are not bound by karmas so you are not the doer of karmas not the doer so not the receiver of the fruits of karmas staying not in karta bhukta bhav but in gnata drishta bhav so you are forward bent was karta bhav do dayo tha extra extends from the swabhav to the vibhav vibhav is going beyond the swabhav and then you fall down bhokta bhav because of the fruits of the karma and this is your gnata drishta bhav so even when the old karmas manifest give fruits he is not influenced because he is in the gnata drashta bhav ej dharma no mar in which ever means by which ever methods by which ever means practices you can attain this state of kar- of gnata drashta bhav is dharma the effort to retreat from impure feelings and become established in the true nature of the self alone is dharma thus implicitly stating that dharma is dependent on the self now in the next two pinnacle like verses there were three one we did 115 and 1617 and then the final conclusion by the satguru so in the next two pinnacle like verses the guru describes the nature of the self so till now we were talking of liberation which was a state pure state pure rest state means moksha liberation so till now we were talking of the state the pure state liberation how can you achieve and the guru's teachings was by focusing on the true eternal nature so now what is that nature will be explained in two verses so whatever will be explained in the next two verses meaning verse 116 and 117 is the true eternal nature which is inherent not yet manifested the manifestation of which is moksha and we have been seeing the path how do we manifest it you understand so the guru says ej dharm thi moksha chhe tu chho moksha swarup anant darshan gnan tu avya badh swarup So in the first half of the first line ej dharmati moksha che the dharma i explained in the previous verse chute de adhyas to nahi karta tu nahi bhogta tu rehto gnata drashta tu that dharma what i showed you in verse 115 ej dharmati moksha che so only that religion leads to liberation whatever you want to name it you want to name it jain religion fine that is true religion and now he'll be explaining what is your true nature focusing on the true nature you will attain liberation but what is your true nature tu cho ha tu
इंटरमेट रिलेशन है तू तू छो मोक्ष स्वरूप यू आर ऑफ लिबरेशन नेचर आई एक्सप्लेन अनंत दर्शन ज्ञान तू यू आर इन्फिनेट परसेप्शन एंड इन्फिनेट नॉलेज अनंत ज्ञान एंड अनंत दर्शन अव्याबाद स्वरूप स्वरूप मीन्स नेचर अव्याबाद यू आर अनऑब्स्ट्रक्टेड आई एक्सप्लेन सो एज धर्मती मोक्ष जे इज फॉर द लास्ट प्रीवियस गाथा इन कनेक्शन विद द प्रीवियस वर्स so this is dharma and by this dharma you will attain moksha and then starts the description of the eternal nature of the self tu cho moksha swarup anant gnan anant darshan and avyabad swarup very very easy only that religion as mentioned in the previous verse leads to liberation as pure self you are liberation itself you are infinite perception and knowledge anand gnan darshan tu and last you are of unobstructed nature avyabad swarup swarup means nature avyabad meaning unobstructed now what is this unobstructed listen so we can see the guru pushing aside the veil covering the consciousness of the disciple consciousness veil of ignorance which was covering cons- the consciousness we can see the guru pushing aside or lifting the veil tell you आम घूंघट ऊंचो करे ए रीते जाने कि धीमे धीमे बाहिश टीचिंग्स ही इज लिफ्टिंग द वेल ऑफ इग्नोरेंस कवरिंग कॉन्शियसनेस एंड शोइंग अस व्हाट वी रियली आर नॉट ओनली शोइंग अस एनकरेजिंग अस टू इट्स टाइम टू रिक्लेम your identity so taking it personally it's time to reclaim my identity it's i time now the guru has showed my impure states first then he has showed my pure self everything is so clear i just need to re- understand it retreat from the impure feelings so the pure manifestation is liberation is moksha so simple so first tell me what is the purpose of the spiritual pursuit what is the ultimate purpose i am not saying the targets i am saying what is the ultimate the final goal of all the spiritual pursuits liberation fine liberation is certain when dharma is awakened in your soul because dharma means path of liberation so if you are on the path of liberation you are going to be liberated right so i am saying moksha is certain if dharma has been awakened in your soul because dharma needs to be awakened within you if you want to attain moksha because moksha or liberation is not sought from outside it's no award or reward from outside it is the pure state of the soul so dharma should be awakened within and the purest state is called liberation so something should be awakened within not sought outside for moksh nothing seeking outside because moksh lies within and can be manifested by pure dharma when dharma is awakened within you that liberation is manifested clear and how can you awaken the dharma within 
by giving up false identification chute deha dhyasato false identification or identification with the body by giving that up you can attain self realization and with that gradually all the defiling instincts get eliminated from the soul and the soul is in the purest state which is called moksha or liberation so dharma moksha you have to be very clear dharma has to be awakened within because moksha is a state within so if you are if you are saying ki swarthi su kai to ke be kallak dharma kai ru me char baaki utho etle 4:30 thi samjho dharma start tha hai right 4:30 sometimes i get rushab's emails at 4 o'clock so i said wow he gets up before me i take it positively i take inspiration from you are mane to 4 ne 5 thai gaye पर ऋषभ नो ईमेल चार वगा नो छो ही गेट्स अप बिफोर मी व्हाट एवर योर टाइमिंग्स आर बट से यू गेट अप एट 4 सो 4:30 टू 6:30 व्हाट डिड यू डू धर्म इन डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स यू माइट हैव डन भक्ति यू माइट हैव डन योर प्राणायाम एक्सरसाइजेस और मेडिटेशन और व्हाट एवर सो यू केटला कलाक धर्म करियो टिल 8 टिल नौकर सी नोबडी हैज टाइम टू ब्रीथ यस नथिंग एक्सेप्ट ब्रीथिंग सो बट हियर धर्म इज समथिंग व्हिच अवेकेंस विद इन सो यू हैव टू चेक हैज समथिंग हैपेंड within then only can you wait for moksha to happen within because dharma is also within moksha is also within whatever is outside don't consider it as pure religion say trying for pure religion but don't call it religion see this is such a beautiful definition of dharma from a spiritual perspective spiritual meaning something should happen in your spirit not in your body speech or mind man vach kaya good you have been engaging in uh, auspicious activities good but something should happen within you only that much is dharma because that will gradually increase and the ultimate state is moksha एज धर्मती मोक्ष छे एज धर्मती कया धर्मती छूटे देहाध्यास तो छूटे करता भोगता तो रहवाय ज्ञाता दृष्टा मा तो दैट धर्म थी मोक्ष छे क्लियर सो बेसिकली मोक्ष इज द अपीयरेंस और यू कैन से मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ द ट्रू नेचर व्हिच इज ऑलरेडी इनहेरेंट which is inherent means already there in a latent state you have to just make it appear manifest sees the connection with the previous verse you can actually visualize ke bhagwan ni andar there were every verse is not a drop it's a drop in the dhara of course it's a drop but not a separate drop you know tapak 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 it's not that way it's a dhara and these are the dots so every verse has to have connection in the previous verse this was flowering but it has its root in the previous one the next one 117 will have its roots in 116 so we can imagine ke kevo flow chalto hase bhagwan clarity wonderful clarity but clarity and fluidity and the flow so i've been i've been writing on atma siddhi it's almost over now last few verses left so just two three days back i was saying i want to see the flow 
Everything what is written is right because it's based on Bhagwan's teachings only. But that flow is my state. Correct? So such a high state and see the beautiful flow. So dharma is explained, rather the essence of dharma is explained and now he's saying ej dharmati. Because I'm not saying that is the Jain dharma or Bhagwan Mahavir no dharma, ke Srimad Ratchandra no dharma, ke Pel Buddha no dharma. I'm not saying ke Krishna no dharma. Anyway, if this is happening, you are on the right path. You might be chanting Navka Mantra, or you might be chanting Gayatri Mantra. But if this is happening, if your states are turning from Karta Bhukta to Gnatha Drashta, witness, know, witnessing mode, not even thinking mode, just witnessing mode, not even sensing mode, not even thinking mode, just in a witnessing mode, so e dharmati. 100% you are going to attain moksha. So universal, the message is so universal. You know, you don't need to be a giant to understand it. Of course it might be easier because like, because you are... Okay, forget it. So, see the connection. Age, dharmati, moksha, only that religion will lead you to liberation. How? What dharma? Very, very simple. Annihilation of the false belief. Awakening to the true nature of the self. Retreating from the impure feelings and abidance in the self. I just broke the sentence into four parts. Not four things. Destroying the false identification, awakening towards the true nature, retreating from the impure feelings, abiding in the self. Once more I'll repeat. Annihilation of the false beliefs, awakening towards the true nature, Retreating from the impure feelings, kashaini, upshantata, and then the four categories of kashai, you know, the grossest and the subtle ones and all. So, retreating from the impure feelings, abiding in the self. So, if you have to say, what is dharma? Very short, rapid round question. Not that long question. So, if it's a rapid round question, and you have to answer in few words and instantly say abidance in the self. If the same thing comes as a long question, say all the four things. And if it comes as a short question or a rapid round question, say only the last one. Abidance in the self. Once more. Annihilation of the false beliefs, turning towards or awakening to your, towards a true nature, Retreating from the impure feelings, abiding in the self. So self to avud joye if you are doing dharma. You say, I, 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 I was chanting, I was doing japa, fine. Where is the self in that? So I forgot the self because I was so busy in, you know, whole Uva Sagram I had to say, whole, whole sutra I had to say, I just forgot about the self. Then this is not dharma. Dharma cannot exist without at least connection with the self, the pure self. Pure self, we nothing but the self. Bolu chhu chalo aji. But that self is only not there. Then the, your focus is not there. Simple. So the first verse of Tatvar Sutra, Samyak Darshan, Gnan, Charitrani, Moksha Mark, right faith, right knowledge, right conduct, and oneness of all. The, Three is the path of liberation. So same year, belief of the true self, understanding of the true self, abiding in the true self is the path of liberation. That's what is said here. So age dharma ti now what this new dharma? So age dharma you can say samyak darshan nan charitani. That is the dharma, and what will happen? You will attain moksha. Jain is happy, 
All giants happy? So without using the word darshan, gnan, charitra, he is saying the same thing, right? Understanding, samya gnan, right? Conviction or faith or belief, samya darshan and right conduct or abidance in the self. But self to avujoye in whatever you speak. Otherwise there cannot be a dharma. A age dharmati moksha. For age dharma, self has to come. Whatever you speak has to be in connection with the self. Simple. So thus, thus he said, manifestation of one's true nature is the right religion. So the question, what is my true nature? See the connection. You are saying manifestation of the true nature is the path of liberation. And when it is manifested, it is moksha. Manifesting, present continuous, it is called dharma. Manifested, it is called moksha. All liberation, simple. When it is happening, 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 gradually you will call it dharma or path of liberation. When it has happened, ultimate, reached the pinnacle, We'll call it moksha, liberation, simple. So you are saying manifestation of the true nature and then abiding due to abidance in the self is moksha. So I want to know what is that eternal nature of myself? The self, nothing at all. Maru swarup sunche. And see the first was J Swarupa Samjavina Pamyo Dukana. Samajav Yute Padanamu Sri Sadguru Bhagavan. See the connection with the first verse. Khali first verse Tobi, it is complete. Can you imagine that? You will be considered foolish if you celebrate Atma Siddhi Puri Thai. And if you say, now we finished or ended and now we need to celebrate, then you have to celebrate at the end of every verse. <laughs> Though they are interconnected, every verse is showing you the whole path of liberation. <laughs> it's all interconnected. And it's totally distinct, separate. Complete in itself. So, age of dharmati moksha. Ave mane tar maru swarup januj kanke is swarup pragatthavu is moksha. So, I want to know what is my true nature, eternal nature, which is inherent right now, not manifested in the present. But that's what I have to do. Very clear? So, now starts. Tu, uh, tu. Wow. So Guru addressing the Shishya with such a word too, I can see a lot of affection in that word. Bow nikatoi ne na apne tu tu kahiye, dur hoy to tamay tamay kahiye, mota nana ni baat na chalti. Aap, aap to lage ke Mars par chhe Guruji. Guruji is in mass. Aap, aap kem chorum. Tu kem chet aap lage haan. Bau nikat lage chet. Intimate relation lage chet. It's calling tu. So the guru, you can see an intimate relation between the guru and shisha. First connection, then correction. First connection. So in that word tu, I should not spend much time on tu, but still, mane bau game chet tu. So, he's showing that personal connection, that personal relation, personalizing the whole thing by saying to. He could have said, Atma Moksha Swarup Che. Pure philosophy, meaning dry philosophy. Atma Moksha Swarup Che, Tema Manesu. He is talking to me. Tu. 
छेले छेले गुरु बहुत प्रेम देखाड़े थे बहुत प्रेम देखाड़े तार समझ आनु छेलु छेलु छे हाँ सो गुरु एड्रेसेस द शिष्य विद अफेक्शन पर्सनलाइज्ड बाय यूजिंग द वर्ड यू एस्टैब्लिशिंग एन इंटरमेट कनेक्शन एंड नाउ ही स्टार्ट्स यू वांट टू नो योर ट्रू नेचर नंबर वन तू छो मोक्ष स्वरूप तू छो मोक्ष स्वरूप सो ब्यूटीफुली सेइंग हाँ मोक्ष स्वरूप मीनिंग मोक्ष मुच धातु प्रति मोक्ष यू आर अनबाउंड यू आर ऑलवेज फ्री यू आर डिवाइड ऑफ ऑल अफ्लिक्शंस मेड बी फिजिकल मेंटल सर्कमस्टेंशल Two words is enough. You are always unbound. You are always free. Because we use the word freedom for liberation, right? But you are already free. You are always free, not already free. Always free. You were free. You are free. You will remain free. This is your true nature. Tu cho moksha swaru. So whenever we say moksha occurred, moksha thayo, moksha occurred, it only means the true nature has manifested. Nothing, no addition, no subtraction. Nothing external. No award, no reward. Nothing. Because moksha lies within. What was latent has manifested. Bas. You were purna, you are purna, you will remain purna. But he is using the word moksha swarup. You are always unbound, or you are always free. Your nature, your true nature, your pure self, your inherent eternal nature is always like this. Guruji, one question. Guruji, before you start Ananta Gnan Darshan, you feel we have understood, but we are totally confused. Because in the first half you are saying, Ej dharma thi moksha che, it le moksha thashe. If you follow this religion, you will attain liberation. Means you are not, you are badha right now, bound. And if you follow this religion of chute deya, dhyasto, etc., then you are going to attain moksha. So that was very clear to me. I am a wretched guy, but with this following, pursuing this path, one day I will be pure. I am impure and I will become pure. This is what I can grasp. But now you are saying, just Seconds back you said you will attain moksha if you follow the religion mentioned. If you don't follow, you will not attain. So you are talking about moksha in sense of attainment. And now you are saying you are always moksha swarup. Then what is there to attain then? Are you understanding? Are you confused or not? If you are not, then I failed. Confused? And you may leave then. <laughs> it's so clear. So I recollect those days. I don't know if Mapuruji recollects. Year 96, right? When it was the first time I taught the study group then. It was called study group. All these people, Apuroji and his aged people. So first time I went through the, the I, I was teaching the Atma Siddhi from verse by verse. Then second time was when the um, 2001 April, three and a half years, and this is the third time, and I want to explain more and more, <laughs> many times. So Nanu Bhattu wanted to sit for the satsangs. I said, don't sit. When you grow up, I'll, I will revise the whole Atma Siddhi again. I don't get tired. I pushed, pushed. 
So you understood it's not a confusion actually because it's very very clear that this is talking about the eternal nature that was for that pure state. So it is very clear. But I recollect when I had to teach them this verse, I just that was not the time of lengthy lectures and all, right? Koina drawing room ma besi jata ta ne. Living room ma besi jay and we start. No mic, no setting. Month hai tetlu, das agyar bar. And it was that way. So I just gave them one example. I don't know if he recollects. Will you tell them? Face this side. Ekad drashtant I gave them. And they all nodded, they understood. Let's see if they have understood. So, uh, Jashtant is of a rickshawala. And it is so beautiful, it will cover all the aspects of Moksh Swaroop, Moksh Dasha and the whole religion. So, the uh, example goes like this. Uh, there's a millionaire. Uh, his wife has passed away. And he has a five-year-old son. And he gets a heart attack. So he uh, knows that I will not live uh, longer. So what to do about the son? So he, uh, if he passes away, so other people can manipulate and snatch away his uh, wealth and all, and uh, his son will suffer. So he sells off everything, all his property, etc., and puts it in a fixed deposit of 20 years. And this happens, and uh, he tells his friend that I have uh, done this in this bank, I have put, uh, put all the money and uh, after 20 years it will mature. So he tells his friend and after some days uh, the millionaire actually passes away. So uh, this kid is, uh, no, there, uh, there is no one so uh, slowly slowly he, uh, he sells away all the stuff uh, to uh, carry on his living and then after everything he sells off, then he has nothing. So, to sustain himself, he learns to drive a rickshaw. That also, he can't afford his own rickshaw. He borrows uh, he uh, uh, borrows from somebody, he uh, pays him the rent and the balance money, and uh, through that he sustains himself. So, now, the question will arise, that while he is driving a rickshaw, is he a millionaire or not? See, if you say yes, that he is a millionaire, so when we say the word millionaire, what picture will come in front of our eyes? Like big mansions, fancy red car, uh, uh, branded clothes, etc. And this guy has torn clothes, he's driving a rickshaw. So if you say he's a millionaire, then that picture doesn't match. Right? So that way, though he is a millionaire, but his state is not of a millionaire. That is the difference right now. So, this Rasan will carry on, but the Parma is of this much part. That we are Mokshwaru, but when we say Moksha, no, uh, when we say the word Moksha, what is our natural tendency? We look up, or maybe we point up, and Mukta or Bhagwan, when we say, whose picture comes in, our, uh, in front of our eyes? Tirthankar Bhagwan, Mavir Bhagwan. So, we never think of ourselves as Bhagwan Atma or Mokshwaru. So, though it is our nature that we are Mokshwarup, but because we see our anger, all our impurities, we never believe that we are Mokshwarup. So, though he is a millionaire, but he is driving a rickshaw. So, here Sahibji explained very nicely that being a millionaire is not enough. You also have to know that you are a millionaire. So, being needs knowing also, understanding. So, till he doesn't know that he, he has so much money, so he is uh, in a miserable state. So, now what happens? That uh, 20 years pass by, uh, the fixed deposit matures, uh, the bank sends a letter, but he is not living at that place now. So, the letter uh, returns back. So, the uh, bank puts a notice in the newspaper that uh, within a month, this person, you know, Sannu Nama Ache, this address, this amount, you come, uh, prove that you are that, that person and uh, take your money. 
so it uh, they put a notice in the newspaper and this rickshaw wala happens to read that newspaper and what he sees same name same father's name so for a moment he becomes excited very happy but then he feels that where i have earned only so much so much money so this maybe this is a coincidence and he shows his friends also and laughs about it jokes about it that see um, same person name and he is going to get millions and where where am i so that way so being was there now he came to know also but still he is not identifying himself uh, with that um, that he is a millionaire similarly uh, we come across scriptures and in scriptures it is described that we are bhagwan atma we are moksha swarup so we read but we feel no no aa badu to bhagwan di baat che this is of uh, high souls this does not apply to me uh, we the way he joked with his friends we uh, do discussions with our fellow atmarthis also but we never feel that we are bhagwan atma so saheb ji added one point that being was necessary then knowing was necessary apart from knowing believing is necessary because he knew that he knew because he read it he read his name but he was knowing but he was not believing so in the uh, example what happens that now uh, he meets his father's friend who knew about the whole thing so he so he convinces him because obviously and he was his father's friend so he had trust in him that this this newspaper notice is about you only and you are going to earn uh, you are going to have this uh, uh, millions of rupees so he gets that confidence he gets that spirit oh i am a millionaire so similarly when we meet a sadguru father's friend for uh, in the parmas it is sadguru he convinces that shastra ma what, what the scriptures talk about is your own swarup so from being to knowing to believing and he is in a like a very very happy state and suddenly somebody comes that i want to go to the station right he he is yet in his rickshaw only so he says no 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 i won't take you i am a millionaire so that guy makes fun of him that what uh, see your appearance and you are saying that you are a millionaire so the father's friend explains to him that though you are a millionaire but till you don't possess those uh, rupees the, the wealth you cannot announce and you cannot talk about being a millionaire so similarly when we get the knowledge and faith we do feel happy we do feel uh, do get, get spirited but till we do not execute meaning till the formalities are not finished similarly till we don't put it into our conduct right practice till then we cannot enjoy that wealth and we sh- uh, it is not even appropriate to say that we are bhagwan atma so now he finishes the formalities he takes that money and then he enjoys the wealth similarly to uh, being was there then knowing then believing then conduct and we get that uh, 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 wealth meaning the moksha swarup manifest and we enjoy the inner bliss so being is not enough you need the knowing knowing is not enough that believing so only gnan is not enough shraddha you need and not only believing custody after executing you have to have the custody which comes with charitra so darshan gnan charitra so samyak darshan gnan charitrani moksh marg from moksha swarup to moksha dasha state manifestation so i think there is no more curve so very good very nicely uh, he expert so this was way back in 96 1996 but uh, he still remembers it so beautifully and he could express it so nicely 
So Tucho Moksha Sarup. And the second line says, not only this much, Ananta Darshan Gnan Tu. Anant, infinite. Infinite perception, infinite knowledge is your true nature. I did not say is your state right now. I didn't say that. I'm not to gaikal nu ka yad nati ho. Infinite nu chodon. Gaikal nu yad nati. Because of the nana varniya karmas, the knowledge obscuring karmas. So that is different. That is your state. I am saying what is your inherent capacity. So infinite darshan, ananta darshan, infinite perception, ananta gnan, infinite knowledge is and avyabhad swarup. Now what is this avyabhad swarup? Darshan gnan we knew, anant we knew, infinite, full capacity to know all, to perceive all. Now what is this avyabhad swarup? So swarup means nature, we are talking about the nature. Avyabhad is unobstructed, two things, unobstructed bliss, ananta sukh, and unobstructed energy, ananta virya, viga, energy. So how many things here? Four things, ananta gnan, ananta darshan, ananta sukh, Ananta Virya. So this is called Ananta Chatushtai in the scriptures. Ananta Chatushtai. Chatushtai means four attributes. And Anant means infinite. When one attains Keval Gnan, omniscience, all these four infinite virtues are manifested. So Ananta Chatushtai is the word in the scriptures and Param Krupalu Dev has woven this Ananta Chatushtai in the second line of verse 116. Ananta Gnan, Ananta Darshan, unobstructed infinite bliss, unobstructed infinite energy. Gnan, Darshan, Sukh, Virya, all for infinite. So Anant Chatushtai, this is your true nature. This is your inherent nature. And just imagine what have you done to your state. No Sukh experience, you have to seek outside every time you want to be happy. But you are infinite bliss. Energy you don't have. You get so tired. Anant energy, but anant gnan, anant infinite capacity of perception, but it's not manifested. So beautifully, anant chatushtai, the four infinite virtue, virtue, uh, attributes you can say, or qualities, when they manifest, we can call it virtue. Till then we cannot say virtue, we have to say qualities. But once they manifest, it becomes your gun. Your virtue. So this is the gun of Keval Gnani. But this is the nature of tu, tu, tu. All of us. Apra baddhano nature ache, but virtue, if you say, so they, that's possible only if it's manifested. So, so beautifully, to develop faith in such nature of the self, to realize its importance, mahima, and to get immersed and engrossed in it is the path of liberation. Because we are in the segment of the path of liberation. What is the means of liberation? Sixth fundamental truth. So he's saying if you want to know the path of liberation, understand and get engrossed, immersed, absorbed in this eternal nature which is inherent and it will be manifested and you will attain liberation. So some more qualities of the soul, you want to know the true nature, right? 
सो हाउ मच डिड ही एक्सप्लेन तू छो मोक्ष स्वरूप तू छो अनंत दर्शन तू छो अनंत ज्ञान तू छो अनंत सुख तू छो अनंत सो हाउ मेनी डिड ही एक्सप्लेन इन दिस वर्स बट इट सीम्स यू आर नॉट येट अंडरस्टूड द ग्लोरी ऑफ योर सोल सो यू नीड टू नो फाइव मोर क्वालिटीज it seems you have yet not realized the glory of the soul aji to em thai che ke garmi lage che jara room ma jai ne thandu pani pees aji you don't feel that anant sukh anant virya in you so you have not realized the glory so param kupav dev composes one more verse that is verse 117 continuing with the same subject the explaining some more attributes of the soul or you can say the more <coughs> qualities which are inherent nature of the soul so five more qualities in the next let's sing this first ej dharm thi moksh che tu chho moksh swarup anant darshan gnan tu avya badh swarup 